or anyone I know. Oh, hiya. <coughs> oh, hey, Toya. So, should we start looking, then? Uh, found him. Found what? My keys. Oh. She doesn't change, does she? Always putting them down somewhere. Mm. Actually, I didn't lose my keys. I just wanted to get you back here. Why? Look, sorry, I've done something really stupid. <sighs> I wanted to meet your boyfriend. So, well, he texted earlier, so I told him to come round here. And then Nick turned up and he dragged you off, and then... Well, you had no right interfering. Yeah, I know, I know. But you were so caught up about this Fred bloke that I just thought if you could get together... And... I was only trying to help. Yeah, well, you didn't. I mean, so what, what time is he coming over? Ten minutes ago. Hmm. He must have had second thoughts, eh? Oh, do you mind? It's got even less to do with you than it has with her. Sorry. Look, Nick's waiting for you over at the bistro. He asked me to send you over. Oh, right. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I forgive you. Just, I did say that you'd go straight over there, so... All right. Are you crying, then? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Peter, I love you. I want to be with you. But I have wanted this so much for so long. Yeah, I realise that. No, you don't. No, 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 you couldn't possibly. I mean, IVF, it's just, uh... Well, it's just another three letters to you, innit? But to me, it's... Uh, it's... Oh, it's been my whole world. Do you know, I go on the, uh... the chat forums and... one by one, the women would just drop away, you know, as they got pregnant. It's really hard to feel glad for him. Even, uh, oh, just seeing a woman walking down the street with a buggy or walking past a playground and hearing kids just... Well, if it... If it wasn't for the time that I spent with you, I'm not sure I'd have got through it. Why didn't you say something? <sighs> because it was... It was the last thing I wanted to talk about. Being with you was an escape. You know, from the, the forums and the clinics, the letters from the bank, and, and, the, and the kick in the teeth that you knew was always waiting for you. Anyway, it got to the point where there was nothing else for me and Toby to talk about. I mean, he never actually blamed me, but I knew. Now, seeing you was uh, it's just a scrap of, of normal life. An hour off the treadmill. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I think. But what happens to us if I... if I get on that treadmill? What will I become? Someone who loved me enough to take a risk. Someone who understood. <laughs>